that's the uh, barrel arbor, roughed out to size. I've just been holding that in the three jaw chuck on the main part and I'm going to start turning it between centers now uh, to proper diameter. <laughs> Well I did this bit off camera half because I had low charge but half because um, I know I'm going to get heavy criticism for it. Yep, that's sticking out and I milled it and I of course I'm sure should have used a tailstock but I just don't have one with my rotary table and as much as I'd love one at the moment um, I can't afford that amount of money for one uh, for so little use. Anyway it's worked out very well, uh, took light cuts, very very light cuts took me ages to do it but I think I've got an end uh, I've ended up with a nicer uh, square and that's obviously for the turning square for uh, winding um, and I think I've ended up with quite a nice finish to it certainly nicer than I would have got with filing okay so the next part we're gonna make is the barrel so I picked up this quite nice length of beach uh, from a local supplier this piece of beach now is going to become the barrel um, so what I've done is centered and I'm meant to drill now this 20, well, basically to fit my barrel arbor. So I'm going to drill that 22 millimeters, which is what I've chosen. I think the plans say 7 8, but in the plans it does suggest that this isn't critical. It's whatever you choose your barrel arbor to be. In actual fact, I was using one inch and it could be one inch, but uh, I'm working the other way around in that I haven't got a one inch drill and I have got a 22 mil drill for this. So I'm going to drill this 22 mil and I'm going to take down my arbor 22mm to fit the hole uh, but before I do that I'm just going to plane the edges down so that there's not as much to turn when I get it on the lathe There's the beach roughly turned down um, it's still quite a bit oversized yet what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill through the centre 22 millimetres and then we're going to super glue this or arrow dice it to the arbor and then we're going to turn it down between centres again to size. <laughs> no fancy parts enough tools. So this is the best I can do. So this is the arbor that I've been working so hard on, putting a good number of hours into this now and the wood basically is going to slide over that the wooden barrel and be arrow dited to it just going to try and get it as unpolished um, and as scratched up as I can so that the uh, arrow dite takes a good key okay okay so this is the next day I've epoxied the uh, arbor on quite a bit of overlap so now I'm going to mount this back between centers again and I'm going to first of all turn it down to size uh, in terms of length sorry and then going to turn it down to diameter there's a huge build up here of epoxy just because that's the way I pushed it in so obviously a lot of it actually escapes on that side okay so let's uh, get this back up and spin <laughs> that's it now turned down to length so I'm going to flip it around now face the other side Okay, so I've just finished the arbor and the barrel um, I still need to just polish up uh, the square here the turning square but I have polished properly the pivots so I think you saw on the video I basically used a, a standard vi uh, fine file then some emery paper then a super fine pivot file and then a burnisher which has brought it down to this pretty uh, pretty mirror finish um, Quite happy with them, I don't think I could personally polish them anymore.
um, they're pretty shiny to me. So that now is the barrel complete. I just need to uh, give um, an oil to this piece of beech and then we should be good to move on to the next components. Okay, so there's the finished barrel and arbor. The pivots are now highly polished, as you can see. And it's ready now for the barrel end caps, the click, the ratchet wheel, and the main wheel. So I'm gonna get onto the main wheel next because that's a little bit daunting.